Y'all, I went there just for this. I spent $270. Target is a scam. Giving Balenciaga. Is giving Balenciaga our glass? Yes, buddy. That person was asking. So I just got dressed. Um, I'm really not in the mood to get dressed. <laughs> so I went with an outfit that you guys have already seen because it was right here on my rack, okay? Um, I don't have any jeans that fit me besides my little slash jeans and my mom jeans. My mom jeans aren't long enough for me to wear outside in the cold. And my slash jeans are summer, spring jeans because they have a big slash on the side. Now, I would wear them, but I would wear them with a pea coat. But it's 57 degrees outside. It's 47. So I went with this. Okay, that's what I want with. Okay. And I'm just gonna throw on my same A6 sneakers that I absolutely love. And I'm gonna make some returns. I have to go in and out of stores, so I don't wanna be too constricted. So I figured if I'm wearing a sweater, I don't have to wear a coat. You know the vibes. Um, my hair's too big, I would wear a hat to kinda make this look a little cooler, but I got big hair. My hair is the hat. Um, and I'm just using my man bag, which I don't think, I don't think I ever showed you guys this, but I love this bag. It's so cute and so cool, girl. Like, I can wear it crossbody. Like, it's cute, right? So, that's the look. That's what I'm going with today. Um, I'm just gonna go make some returns, Amazon returns. I actually need to go to Staples um, to do one of the returns. And I think I probably can do all the returns from Staples, if I'm correct. And I also wanna go in at Staples and see like how much it would cost to print off this um, portrait that I downloaded from one of those like art sites um, where you like download um, a copy of like an art piece and it's like this extravagant piece so I want to get it printed because I want to put it in my bedroom um, and I want to get it like framed so I'm going to ask them about that as well and I'm just gonna like go and do it so that I can like go pick it up in a few days and like get it framed out uh, I guess I'll get it framed at like Michaels or something um, but yeah so I'm gonna go do that and I will come back later. So I'm in the car. I'm just gonna hold the phone, I think. I didn't bring my camera because it's just too much sometimes. And I just don't feel like carrying it, you know? Um, you know, so I just, I'll just hold my phone, I guess. Oh, here we go. So I'm in the car and I just got, I just processed some returns, but I only could do um, some Amazon returns at Staples and I got 15% off. I didn't know that was a thing. So I'll be returning at Staples all the time. Um, I wanted to get my, my um, art digital download printed, um, but I want a really large print. Um, and I want to do like 65 by like 40, you know, like I want it to be really huge over my bed. And she said that, you know, that's not something they can do. Um, they only do the largest size they do is a 24 by 36. And that's not big enough for my dreams and ambitions. So I'm thinking of doing... I'm thinking of doing, I think that's my neighbor next to me. I'm thinking of doing, um, she said that I have to get it done at a warehouse, which is fine. I'll just 
look into doing that. Um, that's definitely my neighbor. Um, I'll look into doing that. And um, yeah, so now I, I'm so hungry. I really need to pick up my son though from school. I promised him that I would pick him up from school. So we're gonna go do that. I'm really hungry, but I've been fasting all day. So I'm just gonna wait until dinner time. It's currently 3 p.m. I'm gonna go pick up the boy before school ends and then head back home and get some dinner going um, because I do have to get back to work. Uh, but I'm really hungry and I don't want anything that's like in a drive-thru that's not healthy. So I'm just gonna fast and wait until dinner time and make myself something healthy. Um, yeah, so that's that. I'm kind of sad about that because I really, I really want to redo my bedroom and like focus on that. And I want to do something really cool and moody behind like the area where I film. Um, so I don't know. I'm still like trying to figure out what vibe I'm going for because I love my bedroom. My bedroom is very like dark and not dark, but it's like moody and like rich of color. Like y'all bland girls with y'all white rooms and white paint, that's not what we doing over here, okay? I really like like the art deco and I have like these ethereal pieces that I downloaded from art.com, I think. And it would look so good. So I'm kind of sad, but I'm gonna figure it out. Are you happy to be home? Yeah. Mm, yeah, I would be too. Why'd you cry this morning? You just wanted to be home with mommy? Uh -huh. Oh, I could understand that. Yeah, how do you know how to be a queen? Yeah, I could see that. All right, let's try to park this in the big truck again, trying to park it. Big old, uh, big old, um, Republican truck. Oh, Tucker Carlson vehicle. Ooh, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. I'm a little crooked. Hey girl, hey. It's another day and it's another day in the vlog. Um, ooh, my eyebrows. Ciao. My washer is going so hopefully you can hear me i just wanted to come to the camera and say hello um i'm working it's friday and um i have some time in between my meetings so and the baby's sleeping <clears throat> so i wanted to come on and chat there's so many things that i really need to do and i want to like show you guys i'm still on the new year like organizing and decluttering um like wave right so but we've been doing like projects one portion at a time and um i really really want to tackle this closet that's why i'm in here and i'm trying to give myself motivation to do it like it is a mess and i want to like make it really aesthetic and like good looking and i want to like actually like feel and go through pieces and i want to like um color coordinate them i really wanted to color coordinate the entire closet like um all like the same color no matter what the piece is but that is not realistic because of the different variation and heights of things so i'm kind of like not sure my approach right now because Right now I have all of my like dresses and jumpsuits here. There's a few coats here that shouldn't be there, but that's neither here nor there. I usually keep my coats in the guest bedroom closet, but child, I need to clean out that closet because I got coats in there from years and years and years and I have haven't wore them. So uh, we need to go check that out. Um, then over here, I have this rack here um that is just here that is just like random things that i need to move from the rack to the area okay 
Then I have all of these pants and jeans and trousers that I want to like reorganize and get together like there's more back there. It's a hot mess and a lot of these jeans don't even fit. If you watched my 2024 goals, you know that I'm struggling with the pants. So I only have like four or five pants that fit me right now, but I refuse to let them go because I'm gonna fit those one day. And anyway, then I have my like blazers and trousers and like skirts in here and then like some sweaters and shirts. And I wanna like organize it and color code it so it looks nice. And then I have like my shoes and boots here that uh, this just fell. I mean, it's fell a few days ago and I still haven't picked it up. I'm gonna pick it up in a second. But I have my boots and like shoes up here and then purses. And then I have like my summer shoes and storage containers. Then over here I have my hats and purses and all of this stuff. It just looks a mess and I wanna like clean it up i just want to like have it looking really really nice so there's drawers here there's some shoes here i have this pile here that i need to like hang up and put they fell off the rack my washer is going off and it's making all of my perfumes like shake it's kind of crazy <laughs> like all shaking can you see no, it's not an earthquake, it's just my washer. Anyway, so I think my first approach, I think I'm gonna do this section, like with my hats first. Um, I have a little bit more time, I have a little time in between my meetings. So I think I'm gonna do that first. And I think I'm just gonna do each section at a time. And it may take days, it may take weeks. And I may just make that like a separate video, but you guys are like, getting you know the idea that it's gonna be coming um what are, i have so many things i need to do like so many things i like i don't even know where to start i have a load of laundry that i need to fold um like when he's sleeping it's any other moms like this when he's sleeping there you just think of like everything you could possibly do in that matter of time and part of me just wants to relax like I don't want to do any of it I just want to relax and like just run to Target when he wakes up I'm running to Target like I'm sunscreen I need to get some other stuff so maybe I'll take y'all with me um I'm ranting at this point but just when like the baby is sleeping you just feel like you can do so much more when they're sleeping but at the same time I just want to rest right now like I just want to relax like I could do my nails if I needed to because I really do need to do my nails like I did my own nails with gel and I don't like this color and I want to take it off I took it off with one thumb already but I don't like it um I'll probably redo them this weekend but not today it's a long weekend this weekend so I plan on doing a little bit more filming and that's why I want to play in my closet like I think Monday I'm just going to designate my entire day to it it's Martin Luther King weekend Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> weekend um and yeah so I want to dedicate that time like I have a long weekend I want to like use that time I don't know what to do with my time right now I'm hungry I want to do some lunch I want to get myself I want to have a really good lunch I don't know where I want to get lunch from but I'm fasting I've been fasting since January 1st back on my intermittent fasting I haven't worked out yet but I've been fasting I've been doing 24 intermittent fasting if you don't know what that means so basically you fast for a certain amount of hours and you have a small window where you're supposed to eat right now I'm I was fasting 18 6 well first I started really really high like <laughs> You know, my eating window was like eight hours and then I joined down to six and now I'm at four. So I fast for 20 hours and I only eat for four hour window and that's usually dinner time. That's when I eat. So I drink water the whole time. Yesterday, um, I broke my fast with a kombucha at like three o'clock, um, but I only drank half the kombucha. So I'm going to drink the other half today. Um, I end my fast with a protein shake so I get ample calories trust me um, in that four hour window I eat two meals and I have dessert which is my um, smoothie that I eat 
tonight we might be going to dinner me and my husband have a date night we haven't went out together alone in a really long time so i'm saving my calories for that um yeah i have no idea where we're going but i'll probably bring y'all with me because that'll be something to probably close this vlog out um maybe i don't know but i think i'm gonna start <sighs> I don't know like I want to clear my rack this is so oh it's so much it's so much like I have way too many clothes and I really want to go through and like get rid of stuff but at the same time I don't and this is just my winter wear my summer clothes are packed away there are some summer pieces in here that I didn't pack away and I need to but this is mainly winter and fall clothes it's a problem y'all it's a problem let me show y'all what i found another package i found that i just opened <laughs> and didn't and didn't um <laughs> forgot all about it this is the h&m paco raban collection dress child never opened it tried it on amazing um where we're going tonight probably i won't wear this but um i have it folded because i'm just afraid to hang it the neckline on this is so gorgeous like look at this look at this with the keyhole it's like so good look at the sleeves Ugh. it's like my favorite purchase of 2023 well hmm I don't know I I'm not gonna do that because I didn't really I'd purchase some things but I don't I won't say I have a favorite because I haven't worn any of the things I purchased that's my problem I haven't wore a majority of the things I purchased in 2023 and that's like why I'm on this kick to like only use I need to stop saying like and um that's why I'm on this journey where I am only and I'm sticking to it only wearing items in my closet and if I see something that's like a statement piece and that I don't have I may purchase it but it's just gonna be one thing like I don't need a haul I don't need a ton of things I just need one thing for instance I just looked at this cardigan because I'm obsessed with cardigans but I said I'm not gonna buy just a regular old cardigan because I have plenty like if I showed you my cardigans you would be like girl you're obsessed with cardigans yes I know I'm aware of it what I'm saying is <laughs> I'm only gonna buy like a cardigan that is fancy or a statement piece so I'm really obsessed with this Attico like 90s 70s I don't know what to call it like uh, inspired cardigan and I've been looking for and on the hunt for similar ones because I'm not I ain't at the Attico uh, funditure level so I just found one on Urban Revival. I'm gonna pop up a picture. I think I'm gonna buy it. I'm sitting on it. I'm not sure, but I love like the way it looks. I haven't purchased anything from Urban Revival. You know, I'm a little smaller up top so I can get away with like extra larges at a lot of places. But an Urban Revival on their size guide, their extra large is like, their extra large is like a size 10. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit that anyway i'm ranting i've wasted eight minutes and i could have been doing something productive here i think i'm going to start by removing everything off this rag at least and then like go from there i gotta find my extra hangers so you guys just hang out with me while i do that them or remove them but I want to try and I want to try these on and see if they fit me um, I don't think they do just try them they used to 
when I first bought them, but I never wore them. The tag is still on. They are old from NAKD. I've told you before on my site how much I love that site. It's a really good source that people don't really, um, it's an extra, extra large. So, I don't know, they don't really stretch. I'm gonna hang them up over here in my, I'm gonna try on, but I love these little hangers. So, add any more hangers. And I promised myself I wouldn't buy any more. So, I, um, yeah. I live in these pants. I wear these almost every other day, pretty much. I wear these at least twice a week. They're so comfortable. I talked about them before on this channel. They're from American Eagle. They're so good. All right, I'm going back to my music because I really need to focus. Lot of denim but I never have the right denim like now that they don't fit like I definitely don't have the right one but even when they did fit I always felt like I needed more denim because I never had the perfect denim that's another goal but this is too much work the racks here Yay. Yeah. Look who's awake from their Not nap. <laughs> so yeah, um, my Target credit card bill was crazy this month. I'm like, when did I even go to Target? I feel like I haven't been to Target in a long time. But we're gonna go. I'm not gonna stay there long. I wanna get some, some kombucha. Um... Yeah, so I want to get some sunscreen and I also want to get more of um, the Naturium. I love that Naturium sunscreen. I'm just going to buy that because um, it's so good. I have it on right now. It's like has no zero white cast. It's so good. It's nourishing. It has niacinamide in it. I love it. So I'm going to go buy that again. And also probably the BHA liquid exfoliant because I ran out. 
y'all know that's my favorite thing uh and then i want to get a couple outfits for miles because he is growing and he has no clothes <laughs> so i'm gonna buy a few things hopefully they have some options target <laughs> y'all this is my second time nursing and i can't remember i can't remember what i did to wean easton off but he stopped around 16 months. And Miles is 15 months as of the 3rd of January. We have so many projects that we're working on. So, I'll, so look out for that. We've been focusing on a lot of um, updating some things in the house. So um, we're doing our, mat, our powder yeah. room. I want to do some like... <laughs> like refresh my bedroom a bit so i'm gonna show that to you guys i've been looking and on the hunt scouring for things so i do want to look in target's home section just to kind of look and see what they have um i need a new like fourier console table i also need a new coffee table i've told you all about that so i just want to walk around for a bit i've been in the house all week i got out the other day I'm lying. I got out the other day when you guys went with me to Staples and I was really sad about that mm. portrait that I wasn't able to per to um, print. She said that I need to go to a warehouse mm. to do that. So I'm going to look online tonight because I really think that would look so mm. cool over our bed. Um, and then I'm going to take it to like Michael's or AC Moore and get like a frame around it. So... <laughs> dupes I don't see them because I was gonna try them on I don't see them in my size I buy those I like these too but I already have a pair of cowboy boots so I don't need those I do like the reds do you like them no okay mm -hmm. okay okay Tarje mm -hmm. with the reds give them a shark lock mm -hmm. <laughs> See what else they have. I like these. I had a pair of these in eighth grade. <laughs> these are super cute. Let's see if they have a seven. I see a six, but I don't see a seven. I like these too. These are cute too. They have these in a seven. I think I get these. Yes, Miles. Oh, these are so cute. So, yeah, then you might be able to wear them next season. I don't know. Let's see. They're like an uh, influx of like boys or something. Like there's literally nothing here. Look how bare this is. Must be having a lot of boy babies. The selection is so bare. Can't believe I'm buying a 3T. It's crazy. just do those snacks this time <laughs> we love these they even have peanut butter okay so as i'm trying to wean i'm thinking of getting some sort of like toddler drink for miles i'm not sure if i should get this one there's also this one by peter shore and i like the idea that it has higher protein i'm gonna look at the 
sugars. So let's just compare the two. So this is supposed to be like the higher protein one. And the protein, 10 grams, wow, that's good. 12 grams of sugar. Then this one is only six grams of protein and 11 grams of sugar. So I think I'm gonna go with the one with protein. So let's go here. Hopefully he likes these. And they're cheaper, I think. Hold on, let's see. No, they're about the same price. So I'm in my bread making era and I've been to three different places and no one has bread flour. Like what is going on? Is everyone making bread these days? My only reason for my visit for the carpool, I know I didn't pay no $25.49 for this, but I guess I did. I wanna try They don't have the AHA. They don't have the liquid exfoliant. So I want to try this one. I don't know if this one is the $15.99 one or the $25. This is the one I've been using and I love it. But I want to try this. It's supposed to be sheer. I also want to try this. I'm just going to get this today. What I came for what I got got these little bins for my pantry to put my potatoes and onions in because I'm so tired of them being on the floor in there and leaving like little marks I want to redo my pantry so bad I think that's a project I'm gonna take on soon get out of there yeah, I'd like to like add some lights, maybe paint it in there. Um, I'd like to do black with like whoop, wood shelves. I think I might do that. It would actually be a really quick and easy project. <sighs> Y'all, I went there just for this. Spent $270. Target is a scam. A scam, I say. All right, I'm gonna sweep this up and clean this up and put these in there. And I'm in my bread making homemaker era. But no one has, like why don't people have bread flour? Like why is it so hard to find bread flour? I couldn't find it at the grocery store, couldn't find it at my Walmart, and couldn't find it at my Target. Such a strange thing. So about regular flour, spilling all over me. They had one thing of bread flour and it was busted open. So. Booching. With the Synergy GT, GTs. I need some lights in here so we can see. I'm gonna install some lights. Maybe just one big light? No, because if I put wood shelves, I'm gonna need lights like on each shelf. So if I put a wood piece, 
So I'm thinking about just putting a wood piece here. Like boop boop. Like a piece of plywood and a piece of wood. And just do each level and like stain it. I know I said I want a no buy. But I just got a package. Mine doesn't have my address on it from Banana Republic. And that box right there. I really wanted some dark denim. So I got a dark denim shirt. I'm gonna try it on with you guys. I'm just gonna try it on over top this because I might send it back. I'm not sure. I got a little mirror here, so. Lighting is bad because it's so dark. I just don't feel like going upstairs. Because if I don't like it, I'm putting it right back in the package. Sending it right back. This is a it's giving kind of safari vibes. Like Serengeti. No? Very classy. I like it. Yeah. I envision wearing a turtleneck under here or just plain and the I wish I had this in the fall, but I can wear this now with a transitional pair of jeans. This is cute. Can y'all see this? No, probably not. Let me check the lighting. See, look how like good and dark the denim is. So I want to find some jeans this color, but I don't want to invest a lot. I bought this because I feel like even when I lose weight, or if I don't lose weight, you know, it would be a good dark denim piece. All right, let's try the coat, because if it fits, I'm gonna wear it tonight. So we're having a date night, so I'm kinda excited. Like I said, we haven't had a date night. We haven't had a date night in a very, very long time. So this is a keep. Is the coat. This packaging is everything. Look at this packaging. This packaging is nice. Look at it. It's pretty. Look at the box. Luxury. Come on, Banana Republic. It better be for the price. That I want this coat to fit so bad. It fits. It fits. Okay, buddy. OMG. It's so cute and it fits me. Oh my God. The lighting is bad. Like I don't have any good lighting, but look how good this looks. Hold on. Okay. No? Okay, better. Look how good this looks. Like, I needed a black pea coat. It was just what was missing from my wardrobe was a black pea coat, and this is perfect. And it has like little darting on the side for the hourglass shape. But yes, this is so cute. I also got a trench coat. I don't feel like trying it on, but I might, cause y'all are here. But this coat, this coat is fire. Oof. So good, I'm gonna go put this in my coat closet right now. Don't want nothing to get on it. I can't wait to style this up. I'm gonna do a coat haul video, so make sure y'all tune into that. But look how it is, look how it looks open. It's giving Balenciaga. It's giving Balenciaga hourglass. Yes, buddy. I think I'm gonna add some shoulder pads to this to make it a little more boxier in the shoulders because they're like slumped a little but i want it to be like really really big in the shoulders so i think i'm gonna add some some um that was extra <laughs> that was extra i'm feeling the coat though <laughs> i love it i love it so much 
so so much and it was on sale yes and I feel like when I lose a little bit more in the waist it will still look good it will look even better so yes so cute but I'm not buying things to hope and wish that it fits better like if it didn't fit I would have sent this back but yeah yeah I think I'm gonna add some shoulder pads to this all right y'all okay y'all I lied I had to try the trench coat on <clears throat> it's so good it is so good this is probably the best trench coat I've ever tried on in my life I've been buying cheap trench coats with horrible quality even the one i got recently from h&m that's like a khaki color has nothing on this one wow the quality is crazy i'm not even going to tell y'all i'm going to put it on the screen how much the original price was and what i got it for like i can't wait for a rainy day look at this it's so good i think i'm gonna add some shoulder pads to this one too and make it really like beefy in the shoulders like see how that would look my waist trimmed in oh it's a vibe i love it love this even open this is so cute and it's thick and heavy like perfect for like a thick sweater I love this with a pair of oh my god with a pair of combat boots okay now I need black combat boots I don't need them I want the Prada Mafia boots so bad and I'm thinking about buying them but I just don't really want to spend the money but this is so cute it's crazy the total that I spent at Banana Republic for these three items was so was such a steal. I, I can't get over it. I always buy things on sale anyway, but this is so good, y'all. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta get rid of the boxes and the trash before my husband comes home because he's gonna be like, I thought you was doing a no-buy. I thought you was doing a no-buy. Technically, I bought this before I even mentioned that I was doing a no-buy, but he gonna be on me. I put money in my savings account before I purchased this. So <laughs> I paid myself first. Ah, look at this. Look at this. Oh, just look at it. Like, I just want, I wish, I need a full mirror. Maybe I'll put a full mirror here. Okay, at this point, I'm just ranting. I gotta go. Um, my mom's gonna be here soon to be with the kids, and I need to go and, like, figure out what I'm wearing tonight. So, I will come back once I'm dressed, show y'all what I'm wearing, and then we're gonna do date night. Okay, I'll be down there in five minutes. Eight night, I wanted to show you my outfit. Um, didn't have time to do a full get ready with me, but this is still worth showing. So I'm wearing this skirt, pleated skirt from Amazon. It's my favorite skirt. I wore it out, tore it down for 2023. It's coming with me in the new year. This sweater is from H&M. And I'm just putting on some... I just put some stockings on through these boots they're from ego i believe and um they are they remind me of like they have like the jw anderson chain mule thing i love these boots i wear them all the time they're so comfortable they're really old actually and i'm just gonna throw on my new coat from banana republic new hourglass pea coat uh, let me move this out your way so I can. Um, I know we're doing like an all black look, but I just want something like something different. Um, let's see. Uh, I usually wear this when I'm going all black because it's just so classy. But I want to do something fun. So I think I might go here. No, this, this for me, this is very summery. So I'm just going to go all black. It's easy, simple. And yeah, so this looks so good. I'm using the K.I. Lee 
sweet diamond pink pepper oh so good like mm. get my pulse points and i'm just wearing my everyday jewelry i forgot to show you my jewelry i'm just wearing my like everyday rings and things and my Movado watch and my um little uh van cleef dupe i think it's from amazon it's like a laureate i like that it's like tiered like this and i'm just gonna go here with this i mean very simple very cute um i usually carry the bag this bag like this <laughs> with my hands looped and kind of just under my arm because it's just easy but that's it gotta go he's gonna be mad at me i didn't even put a lip on i'm just gonna wear fenty and i'm just gonna head out the door my makeup looks really good bye i was gonna wear loafers but the hills the hills got me let me show y'all with this coat this coat is so good so good and like so classy and it really buttons up and looks like the balenciaga hourglass it's it's giving balenciaga without the price tag okay gotta go Put a bobby pin in my hair. Makeup's makeup ink. Hey guys, hey girl, hey guys, whatever, whoever's watching. Um, it's Sunday, so I did not come back after Friday. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna probably close out the vlog today. I'd like to. Um, it's like three o'clock, three thirty. I've done nothing all day. I look a mess, but um, 
you know, it's Sunday, so I didn't come back yesterday. Um, so last time I talked to you guys was Friday. Date night was a success. We had so much fun. Um, I showed you that place we went to before, the Anata Wine Bar. It was so good. It was even better last time because I got to uh, experience it with, with my husband. And we had such a good night. Um, when we first got there, when we first got there, they didn't have any seating, so we had to put like a reservation in. So while we were waiting for our reservation, we went and explored No Miles. No Miles. He refuses to nap today, so I'm already. No, come on. Let's get out of here. Come on. Come on. No. Here you go. Go give me a hard time. <laughs> I can't get to anything because he refuses to take a nap. Just take a nap, man. Got me dragging him across the floor. You know what? I cannot. Come on. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just talk for a little bit. <sighs> so yeah, um, our reservation, whoa. Our reservation got moved to um, eight. We had to make a reservation at eight and we got to explore like some other restaurants on this main strip where this one restaurant was so it's a town like we don't really adventure or venture out to and it's very close to our house but it's a quaint little town um <clears throat> it has like really cool restaurants on the strip so we went to another restaurant got drinks um and they had like live music playing everywhere at all the restaurants so we're definitely going to explore that area a little bit more um but it had been a long time since we had a date night so it was just so good to be out like it was just really nice we had a really really good time um and today yesterday saturday my parents came over hung out with the kids and i was so tired because um Friday, Saturday morning, Miles woke up at like 4 a.m. So I didn't get any sleep that night after going out and being up till like midnight because when we came home, we were watching movies and like talking and had pizza. We were just doing the most like we were young without kids because the kids would sleep when we got home. So, and yesterday we didn't really do much of anything. Today I have not accomplished anything. I literally, the only thing I made did today was make breakfast. And I made waffles, bacon, eggs. It was so good. And I just relaxed. I need to go clean up the kitchen. I had so many plans today. I was supposed to tackle my closet today. I wanted to wash my hair this morning. None of it happened. We, we watched the service this morning. And I didn't leave the couch. I literally just got off the couch to come upstairs and grab my camera and talk to you guys because I haven't checked in and I'm trying to vlog and close out this vlog because I want to vlog like every weekend and post it that week. So I'm probably going to do some laundry. Um, my camera's about to die, so I need to charge the battery. Um, I promised that I was going to do some closet stuff and like clean up. So I still might do that. I'm probably gonna let my camera charge a little, my battery charge a little, and then I'm gonna come back. And I'm making like steak fajitas tonight. Um, so I got some some roast going on in the crock pot that I'm gonna, some chuck roast that I'm gonna turn into like steak fajitas, kind of dry it out a little bit and make like pulled steak or something into a taco, like something like that, I don't know. I really need to wash my hair. My hair is like dry. Y'all know I had my braid out for a while, so y'all seen it, but yeah. Um, it's time. It's been like a week and a half since I washed my hair. Two weeks actually. I need to do a lot of things. I need to edit videos. I need to fold clothes. I need to edit the vlog. Whatever vlog that I'm posting tomorrow, I need to edit. So I have a vlog that I started and it's like already an hour long and I don't want my vlogs to be more than like 45 minutes so yeah so I'm gonna close out this vlog probably this weekend but I think I'm gonna vlog every weekend and post it every week so I'm gonna get a vlog soon okay 
I'll talk to y'all later. I'm gonna <laughs> battery charge. Me <laughs> later. <laughs> Guys, I'm worn out. I'm so tired. I had so many plans. I planned on like cleaning up my vanity, cleaning under my cabinets, doing my closet. None of those things happened. Um, I did clean the fridge out today, which was great. I cleaned the fridge and the freezer, like wiped it down, got all the crumbs and nastiness out of it. Like it wasn't bad, but you know, it just was over time. It just needed to be cleaned. And like threw away like some expired sauces, stuff like that. So I did get that done, but I wanted to like clean up my vanity. I just finished bath time, got my baby down. It's 9.30. And I wanted to wash my hair because it is just so bad. But I just don't feel like going to bed with wet hair. Like maybe I'll blow dry it. I don't know. I don't feel like doing that either. Like I really want some braids. Like I just, I just need a break from hair for a while. <laughs> I really do. But I think I am about to take a shower. I'm probably just going to do some skincare and go to bed. I want to do a mask. I want to do a mask. I talked about this on the channel. I've used it once and I want to use it again. It's the Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mask. Y'all, it's really good. I enjoyed it. It was so good. I like the little the packaging. I'll give y'all a little glue shot. So yeah, I love this. I wanna like take a nice shower, put my jammies on, relax. I really wanna clean this area, but like I really wanna like really do it. So I don't wanna just straighten it up. Like it's just so much stuff. Like my makeup's up here, my skincare, I need to go through it, make sure I need to clean under my cabinet, like in my cabinets. I know there's a ton of stuff there. Um yeah, like I already know, like I have like four toiletry bags that I never cleaned out under there from traveling from years ago. <laughs> I just know it's like a bunch of junk and I need to clean it out, but I think I'm just gonna take a shower. I wanna do like some scrubs and stuff. I like wanna scrub my body. I just wanna have like a really, really good thorough shower. What is on my face? Um, I did cook dinner tonight. Dinner was really good. I made like this chuck roast in the in the crock pot and then took it out and put it in the broiler for a little bit. It was so good and we had like fajitas so I browned up some like vegetables, um, some peppers and onions. It was so good. So I did make dinner so that was a success. I mean I've just been relaxing all day like I'm very calm and I want to keep this mood going. I think I'm gonna take a shower, play some music, and do some skincare. Um, I'm gonna do this mask, and I think I'm just gonna like watch TV. Um, I started watching this show on Netflix called Fool Me Once. So I wanna finish that. I think I have like four episodes left, maybe three, three episodes left, and like I'm hooked in. Like the storyline is crazy it's gonna hook me in i just gotta see it to the end so i might stay up tonight i don't know i'm just gonna watch at least one of the episodes because it was really good um so yeah i'm gonna shower i'll take a nice long hot shower because i haven't had to enjoy one i really want to wash my hair because look at it y'all look at my hair oh i need some braids or something i can't deal with this hair all right shower time <laughs> Why my water is getting hot? Also got these shower steamers. They're so good. I'm gonna fill up my little canister that I have over here with different bath things. And I'm gonna pick one. I think I'm gonna pick the, um, it came with three different options. One refreshing lavender. I think I'm gonna go with this one. The other one is 
mint. Mm, that's right. That was really good. And then the other is eucalyptus, which uh, I smells really good. So I'm gonna go with lavender. put it up in two little pigtails and went ahead and took me a shower. I'm gonna just work with what I got tomorrow. I cannot find my mask applicator anywhere, like nowhere. So I'm just gonna use my fingers. Um, I'm going in with this Innisfree Pure, Pore, Pore Clearing Clay Max, two time, two times with the super volcanic cluster volcanic clusters guys I'm so calm from that steamer <laughs> I'm gonna link those below because I've had the eucalyptus one I bought the eucalyptus one first so I never tried the lavender one at first I was like oh this smell I don't really like it but it really is like true lavender not like fake lavender so it's really pungent but I feel so calm. Like I don't even want to talk loud. I didn't even bother turning the lights on. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this on. I wish I had an applicator. I'm gonna have to buy a new one because I have no idea where it is. I'm gonna wait until I clean out my cabinets and stuff. And then I will see what all I need. Now I'm going on here with dry, a dry face. That's what it says a clean face and leave it on for 10 minutes so I'll leave it on for 10 minutes last time I left it on for a little longer than that but to me this reminds me of a mask I had from um I can't remember the name of the company it was by. It was like a number. I don't wanna say K313. No, I can't remember, but this left my skin feeling really good, really soft. Kite, you know. I'm really getting onto my nose. I'm really going where those places where a lot of products sits, like Right in here, right in there. I don't know, I'm supposed to clean the pores, so let's clean them. I have a lot of like little flecks of product or, um, not product, um, what's it called? Like little blackheads on my nose, I noticed the other day. And I was just like, where these come from? Because I get them sometimes and then when I use my HA, it does work and clears them out. So I don't know if I like have like just deposits of stuff that drop in there or maybe I haven't been like exfoliating. Okay, anyway, I'm about to go and let this sit. Mm-hmm. Say 10 minutes. I'm gonna do like 20. Who want me to dance to the battle is not yours? <laughs> yeah. So I don't know why I still have the box. I kept the box for some reason, but so anyway. I will link this mask below. It was really, it was really good. 
So I'm gonna give that a little bit and then, um, so I was gifted this um, bamboo box from Clean Skin Club. I don't know if I opened the package with you guys. I don't think I did, but Clean Skin Club sent me some of their towels, even though I don't usually use a towel with my face. I'm gonna use my towel. But I also got some new vitamin C serum from the brand. And I'm excited to try that because I'm actually running low on my Sephora Glow Serum. So I wanna try this. It has the watermelon green tea pineapple. It says it's a brightening booster. Um, I looked at the ingredients and I was, you know, not concerned about anything. Um, and yeah, I don't really like the smell of watermelon. So I don't like the, um, what's the name of that brand? That's watermelon. I have it right here. The recipe, glow recipe. I don't like the smell of watermelon. Um, and I haven't really used it because I don't like the smell of watermelon, but this has watermelon green tea pineapple. I'm hoping that it's not too watermelon because I don't like the smell of watermelon on my skin. I don't like smelly things on my face. Like, I just want a bare product like that doesn't smell in, like anything. Um, and then I also got the pineapple glow mist, which is like a toner. It's a hyaluronic acid with peptides and antioxidants. Um, so try that. I don't, I'll try it tonight actually. So I do, I do love the smell of pineapple. So let's open this one and see what it looks like. It was yellow. What's wrong with that? Oh, that looks pretty. Pretty packaging. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Let's open the other one. Mmm, just very. I need to do my nails. Let me see what it smell like. It doesn't smell like watermelon. It has more of a floral wheat smell. Just know that I don't like it. <laughs> but I'm gonna use it, okay? Um. I was given a code, discount code, so I'll link these products in my discount code in the description box if you want to try any of them. Um, and they did send me the bamboo box, which I'm sure if you are on the internet, you know what it looks like, but it is very cute. I'm not gonna open this because I wanna clean up my vanity and like really set it up like aesthetically with you guys, so. vlog with y'all today. I should have vlogged with you guys when I was in, um, cleaning out my uh, refrigerator because it was really good. Like it was therapeutic. I love cleaning out the fridge and getting rid of like old mess. Um, what did I want to say? I just tried this lotion. So good. So stinking good, okay? So good. I should have brought this down my neck, but I didn't want to mess up my pajamas. So good. I'm just on my hands because I didn't. I wash my hands before I put this on. It smells so good. It feels so good, so soft and supple. And I usually don't like the smell of vanilla. I just think the smell of like vanilla products are always so fake and like gross i don't know but this smells really good i'm not a big vanilla girl like at all but um yeah so i did 
the scrub and everything because it is Sunday and I usually try to do it once a week and I did not do it last Sunday but I did it today and I finished the way scrub which is so good it feels so good to get that done oh let me show you guys something so I've mentioned this on my channel before but I'm mentioning it again because maybe there's new people or whatever but I'm in between um pedicures right now and my feet was looking a little rough the other night because I really wanted to wear a pair of heels with my with my heel out <laughs> but I couldn't because sorry I'm putting some lotion on my feet right now <laughs> Um, but I couldn't because I had really bad heels, like dead skin. Because I'm in between, you know, this little pet egg thing is just like a little, has like a glass file basically. And you can just rub it on your, the heels of your feet and on like your calluses on the side or the bottom. Girl, brand new brand new you would have thought i went to the to get a little cheese grater on my feet this is so good i'm gonna link this this is so good so in between whether you're in between or you do your own pedicures at home you need this for real new um spf i'll try it tomorrow this is the this is the spf that i got from wall from target the only reason I went to Target and ended up spending $270. How? I don't know. I need to look at the receipt and figure out how much I paid for this. But I can't wait to try this tomorrow. This is supposed to be the new, their new sunscreen. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Because I still got a little bit of this left, so I haven't tried this yet. But this is my favorite. This is my favorite. I've talked about on this channel before. Look, the name's rubbed off, but that's the name. And I showed y'all in Target, both of them next to each other. I'm really sad because they didn't have any more of this. So y'all know how I feel about this. They didn't have any more of my liquid exfoliant, so I'm gonna order some of that online. But that's it. Has it been 20 minutes yet? I think I'm gonna go downstairs and get a snack and then I'm gonna wash this off. Um, my dad made me oatmeal raisin chocolate chip cookies and oatmeal raisin and craisin cookies. Ugh. Mm -mm -mm. My God, they are so good. Ugh. <sighs> Poor me, I don't need to eat nothing else. I'm supposed to be working out, it's day. 14 of the month and I have not worked out. I, I was supposed to be the, one of those people at the gym on January 1st, working out, eating healthy, meal prepping. I bought a scale, a food scale, a new food scale and everything. A gallon jug, ain't filled that gallon jug up yet. And I'm just like not motivated. Anyway, y'all don't care about none of that. I'm gonna go get some food um who my husband talking to am i here it's 10 30 i hope nobody in my house anyway i'm gonna let this sit i'm gonna come back when it's like really cakey
do today. My goodness. My lantern. 